I trained 13 different LLMs to find the best architecture. It seems like pure transformer architectures are a thing of the past. Now we are looking into hybrid architectures with some layers being transformer and some layers being linear or linear attention or linear computation. So we know that transformer grows quadratically with the sequence length. Uh, the memory required grows linearly, KB cache, and computation grows quadratically. So here I got idea from Quen3 Next. So Alibaba created a new model where they combined some layers as transformer and other layers as this uh, delta net. So to be more precise, gated delta net. In this repository, flash linear attention, I just imported this. There is a lot of different uh, linear attention or linear scaling networks that are like SSM or maybe some kind versions of RNNs. So the advantage with gated delta net and linear ones is that it requires a lot less computation, especially compared to transformer when we grow the sequence length. Now, advantage of transformer is that it can remember and pay attention to very long sequences. So if you are, uh, if the LLM is generating some text and needs information from many, many tokens before, transformer can actually look at the many, many tokens before and draw correct information, while these linear uh, models kind of struggle with that. Uh, that's why that's highly correlated with the fact that transformer is using massive amount of compute for long sequences because these linear architectures are kind of forgetting old stuff. So that's why uh, they are using so much less compute. So what I did here, and I'm going to leave this link below here. I tried multiple different LLM architectures. Here I got all of the layers to be transformer layers. And this trains slowest. And as we go down, I start to add uh, one, two, three, four, um, gated delta net layers. And you can see here, actually, the more gated delta net layers I add, the faster it trains, because those things actually do train faster. Now, in the end here, where we have all linear layers, then actually maybe it's too weak or it's not as good as having some transformer full self-attention layers. The best performance, that is the fastest training, was achieved by this one where I have 12 layers in total and uh, layer number 5 and 11, which is actually the last. This is the last index. You know, it starts from zero. So 5th and 11th are transformer and others are attention. Now, uh, in this experiment, I just ablated number of uh, these layers. So I didn't try to like put uh, change places, like put transformer layers to the first place, to the second place. To this. So that could also have big influence. So in this experiment, I just updated the number of transformer layers versus the number without uh, changing the positions where they are. Here we can see that if we have two out of 12 transformer layers, that's the best. And then three out of 12, four out of 12, uh, those are also good. So maybe around two or around maybe 17% is uh, good. Uh, as I remember, that's also how much uh, Quen3 next had, although they had overall more layers, so they also had more transformer layers. I'm not sure about the percentage. And for the future research, you can just come here and do like ablations. And this is repository where we are all working together, by the way. So you can do ablation, submit the pull request that I'm going to include your. So you can do ablations on like position and maybe your other ideas. Join my school to become AI researcher step by step. Everything laid out for you, all of these modules and every module has lessons. You'll be able to write your own AI research papers and publish them just $9 per month and seven day free trial. I'm making daily exclusive videos explaining everything and I'm with the community here. I trained on just one age 100 GPU and I trained this for like a minute. So I didn't know that it would train so fast. I was scared like it would last for hours and hours. So, uh, but nevertheless, we can still see, oh my God, we can still see results. Now I'm wondering like what happened here? Why is this so much lower? Was this a bug? I don't think so. I don't see a reason why there is a bug. This is so interesting. So now we would investigate this and why and this, try different places here. So this one is same as this one. So this one, that one is weird. 
and in the first part of the experiment so that was the second part the first part i was doing like some uh, ablations on learning rates so i found out that different architectures actually have uh, different learning rates that perform best so you see here that for uh, delta net in my particular case i think it also depends on batch size and setup but for delta net we had one learning rate that worked best and for hybrid transformers we had a different one and learning rate can make a massive difference so you see here green 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 look at the difference between these three greens uh it's not the coloring was maybe it's a bit difficult i should have colored it differently but nevertheless look look at the performance different just by learning rate so learning rate needs to be like tuned is the most important hyperparameter actually this image shows a bit better the results here we can see my setup so age 100 everywhere and we have one two three four five six seven etc layers and the model is around 200 to 300 million parameters which could also actually influence the thing uh, because if transformer has more parameters then it's gonna train a bit slower so maybe ablations need to be done here as well but uh, whether or not this the parameters are different in transformer versus delta net uh, we still have a big difference here so it doesn't explain why there is still big difference so th this actually shows this is the best combination i want to also just update you all on my project so if you don't know i'm trying to have this kind of open research ai research lab uh, we don't have any funding right now we just do research on discord i plan to get funding in the future novita ai is giving us compute so you can get 50 percent off if you just go here you see it's so cheap if you use my url in the description they're gonna give me more compute so i can make more of these videos you can get 50 percent off here if you choose spot billing so here we actually have people doing experiments so here this experiment three and four are done by different people and it's actually very useful and this uh, person that was that committed new ex uh, made a pull request actually pointed out a big bug that i had so it actually helped me a lot um and we just plan to continue doing research here on this llm i learned to be able to also code other architectures like uh, video generation jepa uh, hierarchical reasoning model this all of these linear attention stuff i want to be able to code them from scratch with gpu and everything so i'm trying to learn all of that and eventually i want to be able to quickly like run and code a lot of experiments do kernels quickly uh, and invent new architectures and th that can be done so quickly and we can like create such a fast progress there i think people don't even understand how quickly once we learn how to code all of these things how quickly we can like do experiments and just generate so many of them so that will be it for this video and uh, see you next time